Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today uh, we will be discussing learning objectives and learning outcomes. Uh, dear students, uh, you are quite familiar that in medical education, learning objectives and learning outcomes, particularly of your programs, uh, play a vital role. And let you should understand that how these work together and how they go side by side as well but before we go into detail what are learning objectives and learning outcomes so the learning objectives usually describe the expected accomplishment of graduates in a particular program whereas the outcomes describe the graduating students are capable of performing a particular task or outcome. There is a minute difference between the objectives and outcome. A objective, for example, if you are going to register in a particular program, so at the entry level, once the students comes and what are their perceptions, what are their objectives, what are their intents to learn. So in case of objectives, the student is at entry level whereas uh, in case of outcomes the student is at exit level but this is not so simple because in between the student has been exposed to so much uh, intervention and these intervention may be the teaching or research methodologies or the learning strategies where the students have been exposed to so thus 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 for example for example uh, there may be team-based learning, task-based learning, workplace-based learning, problem-based learning, and directed self-learning, self-directed learning strategies, or maybe a constructivism approach will be there, behaviorism approach will be there, or as a cognitivism approaches or theories may be there. But these are different types of intervention that I described. But nevertheless, since we are focused on objectives and outcomes, so uh, while framing the objectives, the uh, blanket statement shall be like this. The program objectives are two. For example, you want to know about some things, to know about the particular uh, characteristic of contents, whatever being targeted in a particular curriculum, you will focus. Whereas in outcomes, uh, you will use the blanket statement that upon graduation the graduate shall be able to know about the particular level of competency that you have to describe on board. This will be clear once we proceed. So objectives are your intents and for a program like medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, physiotherapy or nursing there should be some general objectives or program, program objectives as well. So you can find these in the beginning of the program uh, after vision and mission statement. Uh, vision and mission statement is not the domain of this lecture. So therefore we skipped that. Now having said that, uh, why these are for, so the objectives are for a purposeful education. So how objectives are framed? Uh, objectives should be specific, they should be measurable, they should be achievable, the objectives should be reliable and of course objectives should be tangible. And if I draw it for you, the, the terminology is smart objective. So smart, ob your objectives should be smart. And how it should be smart? All these terminologies are self-explanatory. For example, you have to, uh, the degree of specificity shall be, uh, uh, shall be, shall be, shall be determined so that uh, it shall be measurable as well, it shall be quantified as well and then uh, it could be achieved in a particular duration or period and of course it should be reliable and its reproducibility should be there and of course it should be timetable. Regarding timetable, for example, there is a surgeon and he is going to uh, perform certain surgical procedure like appendectomy and you can find two surgeons. One surgeon will perform within prescribed period, for example, if the anesthetist prepares the patient and the surgery is being performed within 30 minutes just for simple appendectomy or appendectomy. So, and there is another surgeon who is going to take time, all, one almost one and a half hour. So, surgeon one is more uh, smart than uh, surgeon two as he performed this in a specific, specified duration of period of time 
therefore or a student is there he's been enrolled in four-year graduate program undergraduate program and he finishes that not in four years but he finishes in four five six years so this student is not smart i hope you understand the concept of smart as well so program objectives and outcomes uh, uh, for more elaborations as I said in my first slide that the main objective of the MPhil programs are two. If you are uh, going to frame objectives for MPhil program, so you will use in case of objective the blank statement that main objectives of the MPhil programs are two. And after infinity two, try to use the action verb. So objective are, 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 are started with action word and in this action word because it sounds very well. Uh, whereas outcomes are uh, upon completion of the program the blank statement would be like this one that upon completion of the program the graduates shall be able to transform knowledge into practices based on skills gains at workplace so this is much more broader than and result oriented rather than to focus here that provide the student with advanced knowledge in day-to-day -day practices of area of basic medical sciences and here the knowledge has been transformed into skill so thus it's an outcome outcome focused activity and this is prospectively focused uh, activity and in between there is intervention as i refer to in the previous slide uh, what is uh, one important uh, uh, purpose of the uh, program objectives or outcome should be there should be an alignment for example if we are asked to try two learning objectives for an MPH program so the blank statement will be main objectives of the M, uh, MPH program will be sorry here this is MPH MP and main objective of the MPH program will be uh, or, or, or to be will be or to be to know uh, about the research activity for key public health indicators or to know the disease burden of population of CAPI. So, so this is futuristic planning. Whereas, uh, in case of learning outcome, the blank statement would be that upon completion of the MPH program, the graduates shall be able to explain the result of research activities for key public health indicators. You see, here he is going to know about, and here he is in a position he has he has he has gained certain knowledge and then upon application of that knowledge he is in a position to explain that particular narrative in within so far the health key indicators are concerned so know the disease burden of population mean and now this is at the ultimate extreme and it would be to understand the disease burden of the population of kp for as prosperous society so here the purpose of the education is defined so therefore therefore uh, uh, there is a small difference between the objectives learning objective and learning outcome and we can say that the outcomes are more focused on the outcome after intervention and perhaps it is more related to the to the to the to the to the uh, competencies and 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 if uh, uh, how to use these in curriculum so program objectives are plotted in one column and then in the rows program outcomes and you have to align this for example in the previous program in the previous uh, uh, example you see this is objective number first to know about the research activity for key public health indicator and here he is in a position in case of outcome that the research activities are to be explained as particularly with reference to the health indicator so this is so there is an alignment between the objective number one and the ob uh, outcome number uh, one as well, and there is an alignment between the no or the objective number two and the objective number um, two or the outcome number two rather. So this understanding is uh, consequently a broader terminology, and and understanding the disease burden of population of gay people a prosperous society so this 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 learning outcome is more broader than 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 this one you see though both of them are used in different contexts but but what is the message the message is that sometime an outcome 
may encompass object to number one you see as in the previous case and may encompass the object to number two so thus thus encompassing more uh, objectives in a single outcome will mean that as we go on here to this side and with simultaneous going on this uh, uh, in the column if you are going to click so many objectives so it means that this outcome number three is so wide is so broad to 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 encompass objective number one number two number three number four number five as here it appears in the column thus the wider the outcomes so it results in uh, what you can say competency so 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 nowadays uh, the outcome are focused on you see more focused on what you can say um, competencies so thus uh, Benjamin uh, Bloom's taxonomy if you go to that so there is remembering then understanding and you apply and then you analyze then you elevate the case and then you are in a position to create something so creativity is there so all these things are plotted in this direction you see this was here since uh, gave this model and then uh, since this is related to the cognition mean knowledge so the knowledge level certain knowledge level are defined and for example factual knowledge is there conceptual knowledge is there and procedural knowledge is there and and of course factual knowledge and conceptual knowledge mean these are very basic so it relates to remembering and understanding you see and procedural knowledge mean that's related to the skills so it will come here at the level of application procedural knowledge should be at the level of if analysis as well and of course maybe come in the evaluation as well and metacognitive knowledge mean that that you are going to have cognition of your cognition so meaning that uh, you will be here as well because this is creativity is something um, where you get uh, reflection on your all previous uh, procedures so thus 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 uh, it is it is very imperative that, that there should be an alignment between the program objectives and the program outcomes for 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 designing or devising the competencies so how to plot them in the curriculum you see outcomes may be there and there may be for a single outcome there may be multiple objectives like and these when these two three objectives may constitute uh, an outcome or two outcomes and then these outcomes are combined in a way and it gives you competency or competencies you see so thus 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 uh, uh, what is the message the message is that nowadays the world is turning to competency based education and competency is the ability of a person to perform certain tasks independently and efficiently if you are not going to perform independently efficiently then you are not competent as well so there are, there are different levels of competence which are out of the domain of this lecture uh, for post-graduation students for example if the course title is neurosurgery and the subtitle I am going to refer you to the neurotrauma and then there is the diagnosis of brain swelling you see and and that is the target audience or students or the FCPS trainee students and uh, what will be the objective the smart objective will be at the end of the course of first year if CPS the neurosurgery student uh, Training shall be able to you see at the end of this course that shall be able to describe Describe the Glasgow coma score So it means that he has to understand the basic knowledge of Glasgow coma score as So it relates to cognition and then examine the patient according to the Glasgow coma score so examination is a, a skill and thus thus he is going to apply this particular uh, certain level of knowledge and hence hence it's a classical example of of, of, of psychomotors application of psychomotor scale domain and then judge the severity of the head injury and of course explain that the prognosis or the repercussion to the relatives so he is going to take uh, into consideration the affective domain as well 
Thus, 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 cognition, skills, and affective domains are touched while setting this particular three objectives on a particular uh, 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 subtitle like neurotrauma with a uh, differ uh, differential diagnosis of case of brain swelling. So, in certain developed countries, uh, the courses are so much defined. The objectives are so much defined that the you go into the nitty grittiness of the objective and then and then you set that and then setting multiple objectives will constitute certain outcomes and consequently then that give you competencies. But nowadays the world is turning toward competency based education and the objectives are set uh, are being overlooked uh, these days. So so the message is that that uh, world is turning to competency-based education. I hope now you understand the difference between uh, learning outcomes, objectives, and and that's enough. Thank you.